We all want to protect our community. We all want to protect our neighborhood. So we're going to talk about leadership. Items besides guns, ammo, armor. Hello, fellow patriots. Paul Markle here. And today we're going to talk about leadership specifically being a Patriot fire team leader. Now, some of you have said, you're like, well, Paul, I have some friends, some neighbors, and we're pretty much on the same sheet of music. We all are gun guys, and we all want to protect our community. We all want to protect our neighborhood. So we don't really need a leader because we're all just a group of guys, and we all know what to do, you'd think. But the fact of the matter is every organization, every group needs to have a leader someone's got to be in charge. Maybe you didn't want to be in charge, but it just fell to you. We're going to talk about that today. And we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about some of the gear that a leader should have. Now, what is the primary job of a Patriot fire team leader? Does he have a gun? Is he capable of shooting? Yes, obviously. But his primary job is to make sure that armed men are in the right place at the right time to provide safety and security for his community, his neighborhood, his family, his friends, so on. As a leader, it's your job to communicate with all the other people in your team and also to communicate with the people that are not in your team. And we talk about that at length in the Patriot Fire Team Manual and in the Equipment Guide as well. So think about it like this. If you're going to be a leader, you say, I didn't want to be a leader. I didn't ask for this job, but it just fell in my lap. Okay, accept it, deal with it, and move on. If you're going to be a Patriot fire team leader, if you're going to be a team leader, your job is to make sure that the right people are in the right place at the right time, under the right circumstances, always. You're like, wow, man, that's a lot. Fear not, you can do it with a little bit of training, a little bit of practice, a little bit of education, you can do it. All right, in the next segment of this video, we're gonna talk about some of the gear that maybe you haven't considered. Everybody has thought about guns, right? Everybody knows what rifle they want, everybody knows what pistol they want, holster, armor, all that jazz, but there are some other things that a leader needs that can be valuable and help them accomplish their mission. Let's talk about some of the items besides guns, ammo, armor, and stuff like that, that you're going to need to be a leader. Number one, a watch. Yeah, just a regular old watch, an analog watch. How many of you guys have gotten so used to using your phone as a clock that you don't ever wear a watch anymore? In the aftermath of a disaster, whether it's a man-made disaster or a natural disaster, you may not be able to rely on your phone or you may not want to. Get yourself a good watch. I don't care what kind of watch you get, get a watch. Let's talk about phones. A lot of us have become totally dependent on our phones as a GPS uh, to help us find directions, all that good stuff. The fact of the matter is you cannot always rely on electronic gadgets. Sometimes the power goes out, sometimes the satellites are messed up, sometimes you don't have a signal. If all of your information is in your phone, and you can't access your phone, you're screwed. One of the things you should have long before any kind of emergency or crisis is a map or several maps, actual, no kidding, paper maps of your area of operation, wherever it is you live, your neighborhood, your community, your city, your state, you should have actual paper maps so that when the, the balloon goes up, you know, your phone goes down, GPS is not working, you say, oh, GPS always works. Does it really? Does it always work? And the, quite frankly, sometimes when you need to tell someone where to go, where to be, and so forth, it's a lot easier to spread out a map, look at the map, and say, hey, go here, stand there, or this is how we're going to get there. Never underestimate the power of a paper map. Obviously, I have a water-resistant map case here that I keep it in. What else do you need to go with your map? Well, 
If your GPS isn't working or your phone is down, a compass, some type of magnetic compass. Not one of those little cheap pieces of crap, but an actual good compass like this one right here. Uh, this is a, a tritium compass, so it works in the daytime and at nighttime. Uh, I got this one from Kamenga, so you should have maps of your area of operation, and you should also have a compass. Now, what else are you going to want to have? If you're a leader, you're going to need to keep track of stuff, and you can't always rely on what? On your phone, right? Stop relying on your phone for everything. So what I have is I've got a notebook. Yes, actual paper actual paper and this is one of the right in the rain notebooks good stuff there so i've got actual paper and i have an actual pencil that's right an actual pencil and an actual notebook to keep track of things ladies and gentlemen you're going to have there's going to be a lot of stuff that you're going to need to keep track of i bought this real cool little organizer here i got a little flashlight in there i've got some extra maps I've got another compass, I've got a flashlight, did I already say that? A couple of different pencils and so forth. Uh, basically just an organizer there. So remember, as a leader, it's not just your job to shoot, shoot, shoot. You have to communicate. You have to communicate with your team. You have to communicate with citizens, people who are not on your team. You need to be able to keep track of stuff. You're the leader, you're in charge. What else do you need? I would suggest that you get some kind of a good pair of binoculars. These are 8 by 42 They're from Leupold. Lots of different companies make binoculars. I don't care which one you buy. But the fact of the matter, if you're going to be a leader, you need to have some type of binos. Uh, if you guys read the uh, book Black Autumn uh, by Jeff Kirkham, you know one of the reasons you should have binos instead of just using a rifle scope. But every team leader should have in their possession a good pair of binoculars or field glasses. Now my pack's got a lot of good stuff in it. It's got water, it's got a first aid kit, it's got a trauma kit. Uh, I've got a bunch of stuff. We talked about communication before. I'm gonna assume that most of you have already thought about handheld radios because sometimes cell phones just aren't going to cut it. If you need to transmit an immediate message, sometimes the best way is just to use a handheld radio. And quite frankly, in the aftermath of a major disaster, you might not have cell service. I don't know, you don't know. So get radios, that's pretty obvious. That's verbal communication. We all understand verbal communication. But what about those times when verbal communication is either not possible or would take too long or what have you? You need to be able to signal, communicate via signaling with your team. If it's daytime, Often we use, if it's bright like this, we use smoke. Sometimes we use audible signals, like an air horn or a whistle. Something as simple as a whistle could be a very effective form of signaling. At nighttime, in the dark, when it's cloudy, we use flares and so forth. So you say, okay, Paul, that's great, but I'm not in the military. I don't have access to pop-ups and flares and smoke and all that stuff. Where am I going to get it? All right, go to your local marine supply store, and I don't mean USMC, I mean boats. An emergency signal kit from Orion. Everybody can buy these. You know, even people in slave states are allowed to own emergency signal kits. Super simple. What do we have here? We have our flare gun. You open it up, you take a 12 gauge flare, you drop it in there, close it, cock it, point it up in the air, boom. At night, it can be seen for miles. In the daytime, it can too, but it's kind of hard to notice a flare when it's bright and sunny out, right? So if it's bright and sunny out, instead of using a flare, often what we will use instead is smoke. Now what I have in here is I have a variety of signaling gear. And like I said, any place that sells boats, boating accessories, life preservers, all that good stuff should have marine signaling in stock. So what do we have here? I've got a uh, handheld flare, light it, go right. I've got smoke, I have handheld smoke right here, bright orange smoke. I have 
individual pop-up flares. These are flares, you open them up, hit them, boom, they shoot up in the air. You can grab these, throw them in your pack. Or let's say you want to give everybody on your team, you say, oh, I'm not going to give everyone on my team a flare gun, but just in case, in the event of an emergency, you can issue out one of these to everybody on the team. If there's a crisis, if they need help, uh, there's a problem somewhere, they can launch one of those in signal. And what do these all come with? Every single one of these kits come with. That's pretty weak. There you go. Every one of these kits come with emergency whistle. If you are a leader, a team leader, and it's your job to communicate, sometimes you're going to communicate verbally with radios, maybe cell phones, whatever. But sometimes you need to communicate fast, quick, in a hurry, or you need to communicate with multiple people. You need to let your entire team know, hey, we've got a problem. Go here, go there, what have you. Uh, bad guys are coming. How do you do that? Smoke and flares, nonverbal communication, signaling. All these things are available to you, the average Joe from a marine surplus. So there's no reason really, if you're a team leader, there is no reason for you not to have a variety of signaling gear. Uh, are there other things available? Sure, but this one is super simple. It's easy to come by. Like I said, every boating store in the United States of America, every marine boating store has stuff like this. Uh, Orion is the number one manufacturer of it. And the good news is it's all US Coast Guard approved. So it's all high quality. You say, oh, well, I'll just wait till 4th of July and I'll go buy a bunch of Chinese fireworks. Not necessarily the best thing to do. If I was gonna rely, uh, bet my life on signaling, I would get something that's Coast Guard approved, not something that was made in a factory in China somewhere. So just a few things, what did we cover? We covered, well, number one, you wanna have a watch. You know what time it is, right? All the time. You need to have some type of map or maps or several maps of your area before the crisis. If you think, well, I'll wait until the crisis, then I'll run out and get a map, you're not gonna find one, all right? It's already hard enough to find paper maps. Get a map or multiple maps of your area of operation. A compass, you say, oh, I got a GPS on my phone, not good enough. Get a real, no kidding, compass. What else? A notepad. Every leader has a notepad and a pencil or a pen. Ladies and gentlemen, the Write in the Rain tablets, you can get them everywhere, get them on Amazon, online. They're fantastic, I've been using them for years. Binoculars, some type of field glasses. Every leader should have some type of binoculars or field glasses available to them. And a signaling kit. Flares, smoke, audible signals, all that good stuff. While you're at the uh, Marine Supply Store, pick up one of those air horns. They've got them up there on the shelves. You know, maybe if there's danger, you tell everyone, hey, if you hear the air horn, come to this area, there's danger. Sometimes you can't call everybody on the radio or on the phone. You gotta have ways to communicate and that's your job as a leader. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I know there was a little bit of wind, but that really is the price that you pay for living here in free America. If you want more of these videos, go to get, G-E-T, S-O-T-G dot com, Sign up for the grad program. We're going to be putting Patriot Fire Team training videos up for the grad program in the weeks and months to come. You know you want them. I want you to have them. All right. I am your host, Paul Markle. I'm a fellow Patriot, and I'll talk to you again real soon.